Okay, so here we are, right at the beginning. The first tone you need to know is the bass tone. And to achieve the bass tone, a lot of people think you need to go right down here to get the bass tone, but actually you only need to go as far as about here. And a good way to measure that is just by the top of your hand here, the top of the palm of your hand, is just below the top of the cajon. So you can achieve a really good bass tone without having to stretch all the way down here and straining your back. Because if you're gonna be going all the way down here, eventually you're gonna start feeling it in your back. So you really only need to go down here. And you can hear, there's a slight difference in tone obviously because of the resonance of the, of the drum, but to achieve a solid bass tone, you only need to stay up here. So to achieve that, what you're wanting to do is you want to have your palm out flat, but not stretched out like this, just naturally out flat. And you want to hit the cajon and your hand is going to come away from the cajon as soon as you hit it to allow the, the resonance to pass across the surface and to create the bass tone. If you, if you let your hand stick, it's going to sound like this, which you may want to do if you're doing something at the end of a, of a phrase. But what we're going to look at is just the core bass tone. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to let our hand come away. So it's going to be a fluid movement from your, from your shoulder down to your arm. You're going to hit the drum. And I just want you to try hitting it with both hands or both arms. And you just want to try and achieve as close as to the same sound as you possibly can. So you can pause the video and just experiment with that, but making sure that your hand is always coming off the cajon. Not like a way off like that every time, but just just so you're still in the same ballpark, in the same vicinity. So just pause the video and experiment with, uh, with the bass tone. Okay, so now I want us to just try an exercise. Just get a metronome, there's one on the site, and I want you to set it maybe around, say, 50 BPM or lower, um, and just practice really slowly with each hand on the bass tone. Just like that. Okay, so now let's try practicing the bass tone together. And I'll count us in, so don't worry about it. One, two, three, four. Okay, excellent. Um, I think what you really need to do uh, to achieve a good tone is just, just practice the simple tones until you feel like it's sounding like uh, a, a good solid bass tone. So just go away and practice those exercises and come back once you feel like you've got a good handle on it and we'll learn the slap tone.